Hi, Curtis here, creator of Masked Avenger, The Invincible Man, and The Quitters. This is part one of my tutorial series, how to create a 2D animation in Blender. Okay, so the goal of this uh, tutorial is to show you how to create a 2D animation in Blender. This will be a lot dealing with just the setup and what you need to get started. This tutorial series will follow me creating the character Mouse. It's a character my brother created for his game, Rise of the Unnaturals. He's made a 3D model of the character and I'm going to be translating that character from 3D into 2D. And then animating that character and showing you how to do that. My setup consists of a 5K iMac, which I do a lot of my drawing and animating on, and obviously audio recording. I also have an iPad Pro, which I do a lot of sketching and rough work on and concepting. And then for recording audio, I use an Apogee hype mic, which is a USB mic that plugs directly into my iPhone, my iPad, or my iMac. So it's a very versatile mic. And as far as software that I use, I draw all my cartoons on Sketchbook. I animate all of the cartoons and rig all the characters on Blender. And I do all my audio recording and editing on Logic Pro. You don't necessarily have to have this exact setup or even close to it. 2D animation in Blender doesn't take a whole ton of computing power, which is nice. So it's a very flexible setup you can have. The key things you'll need is a drawing app. Again, I use Sketchbook because of one of the features it has for inking. I really like that I haven't found in a different app. But you could use a variety of free apps, including GIMP or Krita, or even possibly Grease Pencil in Blender. I'm not sure how well that works though. As far as the software you need for drawing, one thing it must have is layer system where you can draw objects on different layers and you have to be able to save the images as PNG files for this to work. As far as animating and rigging, uh, Blender is a great program. It can be a little bit overwhelming when you're first starting out, but once you get used to it, it's actually a great program. As far as audio, I use Logic Pro, but you don't necessarily need to spend money on audio. If you're in the Apple ecosystem, you can use GarageBand, which works great. And you can even record directly onto your phone or your iPad. It doesn't have to be into a computer. Or if you're in the PC world, I would suggest for free uh, Audacity as a program. It's a little more technically difficult to use than GarageBand, but it does the job good. I would say a drawing tablet of sorts is almost a must. For audio recording, really any USB mic will do. Then you don't need to purchase an interface. And a lot of mics can work on both iPads and iPhones nowadays. Okay, so let's get started and show you what you need to do to set up your drawing. The first thing we're gonna do is open Sketchbook. We're gonna start a new image. We're gonna go to Image Size under Image. So it's important to have the proper resolution or as high resolution as you can. Some computers, if you have too high resolution, they won't be able to do the multiple layers as well. My computer can handle it. Um, everyone's might be a little different. So I've set the resolution to 300 uh, pixels per inch. I have the height set at 17 inches and the width at 11. This gives good proportions for my character to be able to fit on the page. Okay, so what I do now is I'm gonna go grab my reference images. The first one I'm grabbing is for scale. Um, this is the character, my first character I created called a Masked Avenger. He's the one I scale everyone to. And then I'll paste that in here on a layer. And so everything's going to work around his size. Then I'm going to grab Mouse's reference images. Just one at a time here. Again, this is the character my, cre my brother created, the 3D model. And I'm just going to throw them all into here. The size of the images doesn't matter too much right now. I can always scale them later. I just want the images here so I have something to work with. This was a comic book cover he made for it. He never made the comic, but just to give that comic book feel. Again, that one I probably won't use directly because it's at an angle. This is an image I got my brother to make specifically for me so I could use for reference. If you notice, she's kind of at a three quarter angle, which is what I need to work with. I probably won't directly trace her, but 
because his proportions are quite different than mine, but it's a very good reference. And then this final reference was a sketch I made of her out of costume. I think it's the first ever of her not wearing her costume. Um, and this is for my own personal use when it comes to the head. I really wanted to nail the head, so I have the reference there. And then what I'm going to do quickly is just roughly get stuff to the scale I need. So it's relatively close. Just going to get rid of the white on the background there. And just get her head close to the rough size. She's probably close to the height of Mast Avenger because he is really short. Um, kind of base that on myself growing up as a kid, as a teenager. That was quite short. So I decided to make that character short as well. And then this is the other image. This is her the, the image I want to use for the scale of her body. So this is one I want to get close to the actual size of what her body is going to be. But again, the proportions are quite off from what my characters look like. So again, her arms and shoulders. So ideally, this will kind of be what she looks like in the end. You can see my characters have a lot bigger heads. If you look at Mast Avenger there, they have a lot bigger heads than uh, more properly proportioned characters. But I'm going for more of a stylized look. So the image is all set up. And it's ready to start with pencils and concepting. Seize the day and create something you're passionate about.